Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I thought it was a perfect time to do a kind of head-to-head -head on the BoxyCharm subscription against the Play Smarts by Sephora. So my um, sister-in-law, Sabrina the Makeup Mom, is part of the Sephora monthly subscription. And I saw they had a Play Smarts box that was about $25. So I thought, you know, I'll try one of their boxes against BoxyCharm because BoxyCharm has always been my favorite. Well, this month was even better with the BoxyCharm because, in all honesty, this hasn't, out of, I became a member of BoxyCharm in June of 2016. So out of the, all the boxes, this one would be my least favorite. So I thought, okay, well, let's take what my least favorite is and put that against Sephora's play smarts box so let's see what $25 can get you against a box that I mean it's still good but I'm not like overly enthused on the Sephora box not Sephora box boxy charm so we're I thought god this would be a great way to look at it okay so Sephora's smart plays comes in this really cute kind of mermaid-esque bag which I thought was adorable so I was like, ooh, go Sephora. And this one is called Glitter Eyes for Real Life. It's a July box um, and comes with this cute little kind of invitation that you pull out. And basically it goes into the different products. And so we're gonna look at some of the different products. So they did a lot of marketing bits in that envelope. So kind of cool that they spent that much time. So I was like, oh, okay, well let's, let's look at the box. This is when I started getting depressed. Okay, so we did get the Sephora Collection Contour Eye Pencil. It says it lasts 12 hours. All right, it's teeny tiny. Then it says we have some Grash Lan, uh, gr I just make up words. The Grand Lash MD. This is a lash enhancing serum. So again, it's it's a miniature. Huh. I mean, I, I've got some from. Oh no, Rodin and Fields, and the tube is much longer. So that's about half the size of the one of the Rodin and Fields. Next, we've got this little tiny banana bright eye cream. So another mini. And let's see, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So I got, I got three or 0.1 fluid ounces in that little mini. Then let's see what else. Um, we have the Bad Gal Bang. It's the, the 36 hour full blast volumizing mascara. I did have this and I loved it. I was with my aunt and she loved it, so I gave it to her, so I got a mini of that. I have this little bitty lipstick, which, oh, I just kind of ruined. It's called Rose Pearl, um, so little mini lipstick there, very sparkly. And then I got this teen tiny Stila, which is adorable. This is Kitten Karma, teen tiny. And it all fits in this bag. So basically for $25, I got a bunch of little samples, which I don't know. I wasn't, I don't know what I expected for $25, but for $25, I got a bunch of samples and a bunch of really nice marketing material. To me, really let down for $25 because you can subscribe to BoxyCharm. Now, if you, if you, um, go ahead and, and sign up for a full year. I think the subscription is like 19 ish dollars. If you do month to month, it's 21. Why I haven't subscribed on a full year basis, I have no clue because again, I've been doing this subscription for two years and I don't plan on stopping it anytime soon. And like I said, this box didn't wow me. So let's look at a box that didn't wow me against how excited I was when I first got that Sephora Play. BoxyCharm does have some marketing materials, and I do like that. They also give you some coupons, and 
they also um, give you ideas of how much you're gonna fully pay for these products. Now mind you, the Sephora Play Box had um, several products, but they were all tiny. This box has one, two, three, four, five, six items, and they're full sizes. So let's get into the prices. We first have the Laura Lee Los Angeles uh, Party Animal Eyeshadow Palette. This normally retails for $19. Not my jam. <laughs> Not my jam at all. In fact, when I saw everyone was getting one of these, I was depressed because I was hoping I could swap with another um, uh, person that had the was ordering this subscription for this palette and I'm like if you get something else besides this palette I'll swap and then I found out everyone got one so this is great for pride month um, I love the colors for pride I actually have a palette already that I use when I do pride makeup or to me this looks like Halloween I can't see where this is gonna be anything that I would use on a daily basis or more than two times a year so I would that's why this box for me was like eh, mostly because of this eye palette so this will most likely be gifted away although whoever I gift it to I feel like I'm pushing off something bad on them so that kind of makes me feel bad but it is a full size now let's get into the Becca assorted primer so we have a poreless primer again full size this normally retails um, between $15 and $18, depending on what your box got. Mine was the Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. So I, I do know some people in my family that like pour, uh, use poreless or use products for pores. So that's going to be a great gift for them. Um, Smashbox had an assorted bit of different lip colors, and this is the be legendary liquid metal I actually already have this color this color is in it's petal metal and um, so gorgeous lipstick in fact I have two of these already so I planned on giving this one to one of the ladies at work this I mean I literally keep at least one of these in my purse so I have it at all times and I keep one for when I'm getting ready um, in the morning to leave so that I don't have to go digging around for my purse. So this is a great, great lipstick from Smashbox. Oh my God. This right here made the whole box. Next we have the Wander Beauty. And these are the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. And I've seen a couple other YouTubers use them. I wanted to go ahead and do this review between the Play Smarts by Sephora and BoxyCharm just to um, show you the difference before I started digging into using these. So tonight I actually plan on using those. Next we have a full size Bang Beauty. Oh wait, did I tell you how much the Wonder? No. The Baggage Claim uh, Gold Eye Masks retail for, for $13, and then the Smashbox Assorted Lip Products retail from $21 to $24. Now we'll get into the Bang Beauty Chocolate Eyeliner. Use it as an eyeliner, eyeshadow base, or even a touch-up to your brow. This creamy chocolate tone pomade is the ultimate tr uh, triple threat. This retails for $22. I love cream eyeliners, so like this made me very excited. And the fact that it was brown instead of black, I really, really like that because several of their boxes before already had a lot of black eyeliner. So to change colors and get a brown, amazing. Last, I have the NCLA So Rich Glam Your Head to Cuticles Before a Full Night Out. Before a night out. It's got vitamin E infused cuticle oil. It's got a nice rubber dropper. And I just changed the color of my nails. This um, retails for $18. I did sneak into this one, I will say, um, when I got the box. But I do like that you can just kind of drop on the oil. And it smells amazing. So now that I've changed my colors, I can go ahead and use that oil. I really like the fact that they put the nail oil in, especially right before. We're not too long away from um, fall and winter, and that's when most people are going to start. It's going to start getting cooler, 
and I actually rub it into the tops of my hands also. It just is a great oil. So I did cheat and use that out of this box. So out of the two boxes, you can either get a bunch of full size products for as expensive as $21 for this subscription, or you can spend more money, $25, to get a lot of marketing materials and minis in a bag. I don't know that I really need to say more. I think at this point you kind of probably know what I think. And what I think is, you know, even in a box of BoxyCharm that I'm not like overly wild, I still love the box. Like you get, still get full size products. And even if you don't like one of the products, or in my case, I wasn't really wowed by one of the products and I already had one. So out of the five, six products I got, two, eh, but there's still four more products that are full size at $21 versus a bag of minis. I just, Sephora, your Play Smarts for $25 is not impressive at all compared to BoxyCharm. I mean, I love the products that were in there. I thought they were cute. And it was the fact that it said it, it had shimmer or glitter. I mean, that's why I went ahead and ordered this first uh, Play Smarts by Sephora box because it, I did see that it had um, some products in there that I like. The the actual owner or the company so I was super pumped about getting it but I don't need a sparkly bag full of a bunch of miniatures for $25 I mean for me that was an absolute waste of $25 so um, I hope that that helps you decide kind of with your own purchasing power you know would you rather spend $21 on full-size products or $25 on a bunch of minis it's really up to you, but I think y'all know where my choice is, and I'm staying with BoxyCharm, and I cannot see myself spending another hard-earned $25 on Sephora Play Smarts to be disappointed with a bunch of minis. Anyways, and they didn't even give any discount codes. At least BoxyCharm gives you 20 to 25% off discount codes, so if you want to keep buying, you can. All right, all right enough of my rant enough of my rant so anyways i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always you have a choice make it a great one until next time